our ancestors are not happy at all. Hey, we are ready to pay for our deeds. Gabai, our ancestors are very sad over the lost battle in Benin and the lost battle that has also paid me for the coming war. Gabai, a serious war. A serious war it is indeed. On our faith is to believe for forgiveness that, that we may perish no more. Ancestors, noble ancestors, hear our plea that your children will perish no more. The gods of the land, noble ancestors, said it. No father ever disowned his children simply because they are dirty. Take us. Take us all and wash us clean. AJ, how I do? If what I am seeing comes out, then the fine is great and dear indeed. AJ, have you not sacrificed human beings before to save the land? Did my own sister, Omodoku, die to save the Gala land from the Jugu when my father, the Yudoko, was king? What has the oracle said? Consult yourself. What has the oracle said? No. No! It cannot be. What cannot be? Garbage. This is too heavy a message for me to deliver. But who am I to argue noble ancestors? I will do so. Don't do 
to give them oil, to give them oil, and you know it. Your oracles have decreed that no other alternative sacrifice will do, not even the head of your highness. Mm. There's two great and giant sacrifices in this. This is the greatest test of our time, and this will mark the end of enemy invasion in Igalala. So the oracles promise we shall gain total victory over the Bini forces, and there shall be total peace. Total peace shall return to the What peace will you get it? What peace is it that sits to the me of the only one of my life? God, my What peace? What peace is it? The only one I own my life. Can it be a more fed of Baba? No! Let me tell you this thing. What is the oracle after? Tell me! The scorpion that is ever powerful without its tail end. Tell me! Who among you here will play with the toothless snake and not make no fear of this? No! It can never happen! God. Let all my belongings on earth, my wife, my warriors, slaves, my advisors, perish! But as for anything, I'm all fed up, Baba. Let her see. Yes, there existed that strong belief that the oracle never lied. The same oracle it was that predicted the sacrifice of Omojoko, Ayeza's own sister, that yielded the victory of the Gala people during the war with the Jukun, the Wukari, when he Doko, Ayegba's own father, was king of this land. Mm. That lady in Ikmi, from where do I describe her? So beautifully light complexion with a smooth body. No complete man ever met her in the palace without looking back in a hurry. No king or queen ever visited Agabaidu at Ayegba or Maidoko without singing praise songs of Inikmi's beauty. Who will have such a rare beauty and not be proud of her? The love Ayegba had for Inikmi and Inikmi for him was so great, so soft and delicate a thought of Ayegba was taught. Yet, there was no other way to save Igala land from destruction. Ayegba was ready to forfeit all but his most beloved and valuable daughter, Inikmi, so dear to him. My friend, find me properly. and broke into pieces. Will the oracle succeed in doing what other forces failed to do? Ayegba continued to call her without telling her the will of the ancestors as predicted by the oracles. Father. Go. I will send for you when I need you. 
as my father pleases. Believe me! As father and She was deeply moved. <laughs> Listen, Iniqui heard at last the reason for the continuous call. A message so heavy, piteous, and heartbreaking to be announced by a loving father was broken. Iniqui dearly sympathized with her father. Yet, what did she do? Did she commit suicide? Instead of waiting for the slow death of life burial as prescribed by the oracle, or did she run away from the land, never to return? Listen to what the most beloved child of Ayegba Omaidoko said. Oh, Baba, my Lord, Your Highness, the King of Lions, the one and only father our ancestors gave to you, precious gift from the gods, to whom I am most beloved. I have heard and seen your response to the request of the oracle. Let nothing prevent the victory of my people. Whatever must be given to bring prestige and honor to you and your land must not be delayed. Give no second thought to the verdict of the oracle, for he who does not bend to the gods will be bent. Your fatherly love and concern, I have seen. I have decided that the wish of our ancestors prevail so that your life and those of your people will be saved from the pending destruction. It is very difficult, very hard to bear, but more pains and disaster will befall the land if the call of the oracle is treated with contempt. Be glad and honored that your daughter, though beloved, carries the problem of the land to our ancestors. Who am I not to be lost, Father? Let me die if my death will give life to your people. Oh, Baba, you can still have another child, another daughter to love. But let me go first. <laughs> I am ready to die for my land. Mm. God! God. <laughs> oh, it be my most beloved. I have the power to shift the decision of the oracle. And never will I have changed it since so power. My hesitation was only natural. I give you to redeem the land the same way your aunt Omodo Kuki. Let our ancestors be praised. God. Let it be done according to the oracle divine. God.
the country you demanded. Our fathers, their children, will always live to obey you. Here is iniquity. Here we send out to you that peace might return to our troubled land. As a mark of respect to our princess, nice slave will escort her home. Even if 
you are the only ignorant and arrogant person in this area. Would you not know why we are all gathered here? Tell me, why are you here? Enough of that insult and crude arrogance. Yes. We are here to celebrate tradition, to glorify the deeds of our ancestors and gods of the land. Obedience, transparent honesty, and strict adherence to tradition are the key words. Tradition. Yes. Yes. Tradition. Tradition of the people of our ancestors. Their elegant you know, obedience to our God. So, I still find it difficult to understand your religion. I must confess, I'm not impressed, neither am I amused. You mean you have not been following our show? Which show? What show? The one that just ended. If I understood your show, would I be here seeking separately for clarification? Okay, okay, all right, eh? For your sake, eh? And others like you. Our story, if I may begin all over again, surrounds the selfless sacrifice of Princess Iniqui. Hmm. Iniki. Yes. I've heard that name before. Good. It is now that you are following. Okay. So what happened to her? Ah, uh -uh. you just listen. Since it seems like you've been sleeping, I will do the talking. My ears are wide open. Good. When the Igala people were faced with a serious pending war from the Bini people, she gave her life as sacrifice to save her father's land from destruction by the enemy invading forces. Interesting. This princess, my granddaughter, was sacrificed by life burial for the sustenance of the whole town. A deed most men dread to attempt. I see. It is that legendary Iniqui story, eh? Told by various people at divergent times that we have just reenacted as we know. So my dear granddaughter, count your teeth with your tongue and know exactly why we are here. Good. Did you say Iniqui died to save the Galala? Yes. Of she course. died to give life to us all. Yes. I see. She died so that the land will remain united. Mm. Mm. For her. So that there will be peace and total freedom. So my granddaughter, do you still not see why honor should be given to whom it is due? No. No, I don't see. I don't agree. I refuse to be deceived. Don't blow me into seeing the justification in that act. The act which you now honor. What is happening to my dear granddaughter, Elder? Hear eh? yeah, my dear. And all who are gathered here. You said Iniqui died to give life to Igala Lam. Yes. But where is the life? Tell me. Where is the life she died to give her people? Where the same people continue to kill themselves without good cause or regard? Where is the life when others feed and get choked to death, forsaking them more than their bellies can hold, even as they wash their nails above? Die of salvation in this very land, the land led by doings of human blood suckers, shameless exploiters. Ah, hey. Something must be wrong somewhere, Elder. Hey, something my must also. be wrong. And all who are gathered here, you said the princess died to give the Gala people life. Of course. Tell me, how united is the same land? How united is the same land? Before her death, we were one united, formidable entity under a respecter responsible over all heads. What do you have to do? Tell me, what do you have to do? Many heads. Oh, so many heads for one weak and fragile body. Hmm. She died to unite the land. And every day the land disintegrates into a million and one fragments. Hmm. With very leaders and many voices. Where lies the so-called pity people killed her to restore? Murderers, cold-blooded murderers as you are. Tell me, is there peace today? Do you have peace in your housing? Don't we kill ourselves struggling to be political leaders, kings, chiefs, and whatever? But tradition, tradition has to be respected, all the same. Oh, blind and ignorant generation, what tradition? Cure yourselves. 
purge your souls and bodies of this mental slavery as a misguided dictate of a misused tradition. What tradition? The tradition of our forefathers. Eh? Of our ancestors. And as represented in the institution that binds us all together. Look, my people. For how long? For how long shall we remain absolute dominant? For how long? Tell me. For how long shall we be fooled by tradition that seeks to unite the very being that disunites the people? Oh, open your eyes wide and see. Take a second look at the traditional institution you admire. Is it the same as that which Iniqui offered herself for her people? Oh, the fruits. The fruits nurtured by Iniqui's blood. We should be enjoyed by us all, and none of ambiguous open prerogatives of the privilege. Tell me then, tell me why you should be here to hear what if the very mosquito that sucks your blood dry. Young one. Now, what do you want us to do? Use your senses. Use your senses. You are of age. Meaningful tradition died with the hero you now honor. I said it before, and I still maintain it again. Something must be wrong with the wall of nowadays. Yes, no. No, no. On the contrary, there's nothing wrong with us. But so many things are seriously wrong with the inhuman and messed exploitative setup you stand here to glorify. That nothing is wrong with this generation? Mm. I shall die with chronic and unrepentant disbelief. Mm. I say it loud and clear. There's nothing wrong with us. But we are winning people, a positive generation. Oh, no. Ah. So you requested for this story to ridicule and shame me like this. Ah, le, 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 le. My own granddaughter, I can't stand this. Somebody let me I can't stand either. Ask yourself Let's these go. questions. Ask yourself these questions as you go. Does today's tradition protect the land and the people? Is this tradition of our time as surplus as it was in Nicky's days? Open your eyes wide and see. I am liberated. I am free. I am whole. <laughs> Young one. Try and understand. No. No. I refuse to agree. It was a hopeless death. She shouldn't have died. She shouldn't have died. She shouldn't have died at all. Oh, ye people, liberate yourself. Free yourself. No longer be slaves to the mosquito system. Get your blood poisoned. Liberate your senses. We have endured for so long a time. Liberate yourself. We refuse to be exploited by tradition any longer. We have all been mystified. Liberate yourself. And that is how the record can be kept straight. Rise. Arise, my people. Rise up and walk or be forever self-crippled. This is the time to do it. We are free. We are a winning people. A positive generation. Yeah.